tide of public opinion turned against him. His friends ran away from him. He was turned over to his enemies. He was subjected to a, a mockery trial. He was subjected to a cross to be crucified. And the ones who were in bondage was not Jesus at Calvary, but his oppressors who suffered from oppression. They were the ones who were in bondage. Jesus is, was, and will always be the greatest liberator during his crucifixion and his time um, of suffering. He still released compassion and saved the one thief. Hallelujah. Jesus, when he died, they borrowed a tomb, a grave, uh, because somebody had pity on him to bury him. I want you to understand that 19 centuries have come and gone and today he still remains the central figure of the human race and the leader of mankind's uh, uh, progress. Jesus Christ is the only way, the truth and the life to the Father. If you do not receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you will not. Qualify to spend eternity with God. Jesus is the most influential person in history of this world. He was great company. Oh, beloved, he was such delightful company. People walked miles to be with Jesus. Oh, Jesus will have people around them that had nothing in common. Oh, people like judges, people like soldiers and fishermen and prostitutes, they all came and tax collectors to sit around Jesus Christ. There was something about this Jesus that had a power and a fragrance of life. This Jesus, when you came into his, uh, uh, when you come into his uh, presence, something ministers to you, something energizes you, something gets to you. Oh, there is power, there is life, uh, there is a uh, purpose, there is destiny connected with Jesus. People came into his presence, very comfortable, but they left with a conviction. This Jesus of Nazareth, who is a modern day party stopper, because when you mention his name, people just about uh, want to run away and uh, they take an offense. Why? Because there's power in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Jesus says, if you recognize me, if you acknowledge me before men, then I will acknowledge you before my Father and His angels. If you reject the name of Jesus, you are in trouble. Listen, Jesus is the only one who can offer a brand new lifestyle to you. Jesus Christ, He is so powerful. He can give you a peace like you've never had and you will begin to understand and become content in your circumstances. Jesus has power. Jesus made God real. When people bumped into Jesus, it was like they've just met with God. Why? Because this Jesus of Nazareth, who cast out devils and healed the sick and raised the dead. This Jesus said, if you don't believe in me, believe in the miracles. But he also said, 
because they testify of my Father in heaven. People knew that miracles came from God. So if this Jesus could perform miracles, they argued he must be the real deal because a sinner could not perform miracles. This Jesus, whom we are celebrating, this Jesus, I want you to understand, said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father, for I and, and the Father and I, we are one, hallelujah. Jesus' life was matchless, matchless. Jesus had no character flaws. We read about Jesus getting exhausted in his service to others, but he never, never turned away people. He considered people above himself. Jesus Christ made himself of no reputation. Jesus Christ said, I did not come to be served, but to serve. Hallelujah. He could only take people with him to heaven. Therefore, he laid down his life for people. This Jesus is the only leader in a religious world. He's not a religious Jesus, but I'm just for a lack of a better word. He's the only leader who uh, in the religious world uh, that could proclaim his death. His burial declaring it and His resurrection. Buddha and Muhammad and Hare Krishna and Sai Baba and whatever else, uh, idolatrous God, they could not declare their death, their burial and their resurrection. Their tombs are still full of their bones, but the tomb of our Lord Jesus Christ is empty. Hallelujah, for He has risen. He has risen. He has risen. He's alive. He's alive. You're not just celebrating a little baby during this time. You're celebrating the lion of the tribe of Judah. You are celebrating the triad that Jesus Christ who, is, who was raised from the dead triumphantly, who triumphed over every principality and power of darkness through the power of the cross. He is now seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for you and I. And whosoever confesses his name and believe that he's died for you and that he was raised from the dead. And if you acknowledge uh, him, he will save you and you will have a different lifestyle to hang on to. Don't let this moment pass by. Jesus Christ raised people from the dead to demonstrate that he has a final say after death. I want you to understand that when Jesus Christ, uh, when he proclaimed his own death, uh, he uh, informed people